Hello everyone, hello everyone, hello. I am the mobile cooking teacher and today we are doing red velvet cookies. So right now in my bowl, I'm so excited about this. Right here in my bowl, I have four tablespoons of melted butter. I have one third cup of sugar. I have one egg yolk and I have one, a half a tablespoon of vanilla extract and one teaspoon of uh, the red dye. So here we go right here, mixing it all together. Look at that, looks beautiful, doesn't it? Oh, if you love red, you will love this color right here. And this is one of the famous cookies. So we're trying to get this to taste just like the cake, okay? Because remember, cookies is a small version of a cake. Wow, who knew that? So the next thing I need to put in is my flour. And that's only a half a cup. There we go. So now I got my half a cup of flour. This is like a sugar dough recipe, I swear, because it's real simple and plain. So it's a half a cup and then one big tablespoon, okay? Of flour. The next thing we have for it is two teaspoons of baking powder. So here we go. Put my baking powder in here, mix it up a little bit. Because you know, baking powder has a little lumps to it. So it's good to have this shifted too. You can shift it. But I just wanted to do it just, just to see how it is. So that. And next is. One fourth of baking soda. And I'm gonna make these as sandwiches. So I'm making icing to go with this too. I cannot wait. And then it says one eighth of salt. So guess what? I'm gonna put a pinch of salt in here and that's gonna be my one eighth. I'm gonna mix this all together. Oh my God, I'm so excited. And I know you so used to seeing the white chocolate to go in here. This time when I do this, I'm making a cream cheese filling. So I'm gonna do it that way. Look at that, the dough done already. Oh, I should have turned on my oven. Oh, let me turn on my toaster oven. So the cream, so the cookies can be ready. So my toaster oven on, I got it on 350 for like 15 minutes. And the dough is done. Look at that, look how easy that was. That was real easy. That was too easy to be true. And my dough was done. I cannot wait to try this. The dough is done. So, get my pan. If you know me, you know I do everything on what? In what? My toast oven. Love it. So I have my pan. I'm going to scoop up some, some cookie dough. Put it on my pan. I only can make a dozen at a time, and I and I love that because I can eye out all my cookies. They're all going to cook at the same time, and I'm not in a rush. You know, so right here when it's all done, I have what three cookies ready for display, right? So this was like a simple cookie, sugar cookie dough. Please remind your sons and daughters, do not eat the dough. Why? Because it's flour and the egg. You can get some vanilla. Okay, so I think with this, I might not get a lot of dough. Ooh, I forgot. I got another cookie tray. So, I got me two cookie trays to go inside. I'm so seven. I'm so excited. So let me see. I know on here I can get five cookies. Right? So we're just gonna, and then the, the cream filling that I'm gonna make with this is just powdered sugar, uh, a half a, no, four tablespoons of uh, butter, a cup of powdered sugar, and four tablespoons of cream cheese. I might do five just so we can, and that's it. 
And that's going to be my filling. Put some vanilla extract in it. I'm going to have some melting chocolate. But I'm going to drizzle the melting chocolate. The white melting chocolate on top of the cookies. Or have it. I don't know how I'm going to do the design yet. But I know I'm going to do awesome design for, for that. So with, with this little cookie dough, I end up getting eight cookies. And, and I'm okay with that. Because sometimes that's good just to have a little. Because we, we're just, like I'm just doing a sample of it to see how it comes out. But the good thing about it is we have, what, four sandwiches. So if I only have four girlfriends coming over, this would be perfect. And they will love it. So my oven is preheated. I'm going to turn my oven now, because this is a toast oven, to 300. Put this in. Check my time. I only need like a good 10 minutes first. I always start at 10 minutes. And then after that, I add on as I go. So with that, I will be back soon to show y'all the ending product and how we're going to do everything. Thanks a lot for staying tuning. I hope you learned a lot. I have some more. I have three tips. So please come back. I have three tips that I'm going to show you about why we use certain ingredients inside the cookies. Okay. So I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.